Welcome to another GeoGebra tutorial. Last time we have learned how to construct a graph of uh, uh, y or f of x equals a times squared x minus h squared plus k. In this tutorial, we are going to use the text tool and uh, show the equation of that uh, graph in the graphics view. So we're just going to repeat briefly the steps in creating that graph. So we have a equals 1. You put values to the three uh, variables, a, h, and k. So we choose 1 as uh, values, but of course you can choose any number. And then we graph f of x equals a times quantity x minus h squared plus carrot 2 plus k. So this is our graph. And what we are going to do is to construct the three sliders. So as you have observed, this is uh, the new version of GeoGebra. The sliders are a bit bigger so we drag the sliders down here a little and then we drag the, the axes upward so as you can see if I move the sliders the graph uh, moves also we have uh, we have already learned this so now what we are going to learn is to how do we show the equation of this graph here so there are times that you don't want to show the algebra window and you just want to show the graphics view so to do that you will need the text tool so so select the text tool and then um, you will see the you click the graphics view and then you will see the text dialog box now here what we do is to we type the equation f of x we actually want to show this okay so f of x equals now we're gonna type 0 0.5 here because 0 0.5 is actually the value of a so all we have to do is to check what are the objects here so the objects here are actually the objects you see in this window so a this is the value of a is 0 0.5 so as you can see even though in the edit box it's a but in the preview what you will actually see in the graphics view is a value of a which is 0 0.5 and then we type the open parentheses and then x minus h this time h and then close parentheses and then plus Aside from this box here, from the objects uh, drop down box, you can also use, or you can also use this uh, window to display the value of k. So we just click this instead of instead of uh, clicking here, we click this one. Okay, so and then if you want, oops, I think we forgot the squared here. So. So as you can see, it's a uh, carrot 2, but if you check the LaTeX formula, what happens is that it actually, this preview, or the, the text actually transforms to LaTeX. Okay. Okay, so we drag this one a little. So this is what happens if we... Of course, um, what I told you really, or what, what I taught you is to how to 
um, extract the individual variables from the equation, but you can actually um, type directly the value of f of x. So I'm gonna we're gonna type another text. So we have f of x is equal to f. So we just choose f here or here. So we choose f here. So f of x equals f. f of x equals the value of this one. So this one is actually better because it does not get um, the double minus. And what you actually see here appears here. But this one you might encounter later that uh, you will need to extract uh, several of about the uh, several variables and you will need to, uh, what we what we did here okay so I think we won't be needing this so we delete it and then use this one okay so that's it of course you can change the the color and the text properties such as if you want to make it a little larger okay so I think it's up to you to experiment using the text properties okay that's it thank you and I hope you have learned something